Hi everyone, this is part five of my Her Starts In uh, project. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the results of the largest uh, three rooms uh, that are going to form part of the inn. Um, the bar, the kitchen, and the great room. Uh, this is an, an eight inch by eight inch room that's going to be uh, the bar. And um, it's as large as a piece I'm able to make using my uh, right angle jig that I have for creating rooms. So I was Glad to be able to make a room of this size. I haven't done that before. Um, this room is going to have a bunch of tables and chairs, and uh, the main feature is going to be uh, the bar that's going to come out and extend through this part of the room. And the website had a number of arched windows and open openings um, and bookshelves along the wall, so I, I modified that design again as I've been doing uh, all along. Uh, in behind the bar, I'm going to have a large bookshelf that actually is a full thickness piece um, that's uh, a full thickness of the wall it's a little snug and so I'm going to paint it up and insert it and so on the back side it's going to look like it ordinarily would look like that and so I thought what I might do to cover that up when I paint is to perhaps take a piece of paper um, find um, some sort of artwork or a poster, like a wanted poster, and glue it to the back to make it look like as, uh, you know, if you're on the outside of the building, that there's some sort of placard or, or a posting on the outside of the wall to cover up the fact that the back of the bookshelf looks kind of um, garish there. I'm going to take that out for a second. Got three windows along one side and uh, they're going to be inserted with these three window panels once they're painted up. And I've got half a door here that's going to be also behind the bar. And that's going to be sort of like a hatchway for perhaps a, a back, back closet or a storage room where the, the beer casks are kept. And then um, the website had a a large opening here that was partially filled at least with a couple of half doors like these. So I'm going to paint those up and insert those. Next we have the um, great room which is the room with the central hearth or fireplace and again tables and chairs for patrons to sit around the fire and this room has, has a two doors, two doorways, a couple of small windows are around the room and uh, on a stone pad uh, along the, one of the main walls is the large fireplace. Of course that's going to be a standalone piece that I'll paint up and uh, can insert there. It's, uh, it's lined with, um, with box board on the bottom uh, but if I choose not to use the fireplace the room again will um, conserve a variety of functions and there's another doorway off the back of the room. Um, I've got a decorative element on the far side here. This large opening is actually going to be space for a window. And the window is going to be framed with, with wood. It's going to look like that. And that's going to fill that cavity on the back there to form a, a large window feature. The last large room is the kitchen for the inn. This room has got a trap door, which is just another Her Starts piece that's painted up and inserted. And that trap door leads to the cellar. And I changed the position of it um, from the website so that it made more sense to me. Um, if you line it up with the entrance to the cellar, then this common wall is shared by the cellar and the kitchen, so it seemed to make more sense um, architecturally. This, uh, this room has two entrances in that far corner and again uh, one side of the room has uh, stone flooring and we've got a couple of kitchen ovens or, or uh, fireplaces here and these are also again work in, works in progress with a couple of oven doors and cupboard doors I'm going to use to place in front of the fireplaces and then have a, uh, a surface that I can have bottles and, and bowls of things on so there's a couple of those, and those again were going to be they're going to be 
lined with uh, box board on the bottom so they can be interchangeable and uh, taken in and out as I choose. Uh, this room also on the website called for a number of bookshelves and things, um, but again, wanting to conserve the few bookshelves that I have, her starts bookshelves that I have for the guest rooms, I've gone ahead and made these little recessed areas in the opposite walls. Here's a longer one along that side. And I'm going to be inserting cupboards. And I've got these, these um, molded cupboard pieces and they're going to get painted up and inserted as well and appropriately there'll be storage space for the kitchen and along the opposite side the shorter side there's going to be a set of drawers and these are sort of apothe apothecary type drawers that supplies spices what have you can be stored in for your kitchen And the last object I wanted to show you, I uh, just put this together earlier today. Um, the, uh, an optional layout for the inn is to have um, it multi-level with a set of stairs going up. And um, the website calls for a set of stairs that are circular um, or have a lot of railings and, and um, stairs that, that, again, I don't have. So using what I have, I put together a um, sort of a spiral staircase where um, it fits the same, I chose the size because it's the same dimensions as a section of hallway, so it's interchangeable that way. And simply um, you go up to a little landing here and then turn and, and make your way up. And the way this is designed, because the um, even though the stairs sit on a piece of floor tile, the remaining floor tile plus the stairs below it allow you to still place a medium sized miniature on that on, the, on each ledge so if you wanted to have a little fight on a set of stairs you could go ahead and do that and again it's completely interchangeable if I wanted to use this set of stairs in a fort for some some uh, kind of encounter um, it's defensively sound because of course um, uh, staircases in a castle would be um, built ascending in a uh, clockwise fashion so that a right-handed fighter would have the advantage over a right-handed uh, a right-handed defender would have the advantage over a right-handed attacker where this chap would have more room to swing his morning star as opposed to the attacker who'd be in tight quarters trying to get his right-handed sword up and around the corner here so that all makes sense and again it's just made with floor tile and um, fieldstone walls and these little stairs aren't actually glued in place yet because I'm going to be painting those up um, to look like uh, they're made of wood. And uh, the rest is going to be made of stone. So, um, next step. Oh, sorry, before I go, I also thought that I might add a little decorative element to the set of stairs here. Since this is technically a part of a hallway, I could accent the stairs by putting a wall sconce on there or some other decorative piece like that to make it look a little nicer. We'll see. But that's going to be part of what's to come and that is basically a whole lot of painting. So I've got to paint each of these rooms up. Um, walls, the floors are, are done essentially. But I've got a lot of um, walls to cover now and uh, when you see me again I'll come back with the results of that. Thanks and we'll see you soon.